Good morning everyone. It's bright and early. Today we are going to my hometown to spend the morning. Follow us. We are extremely blessed by having a local discount grocery store in our area and in my hometown. I love going there about every two weeks and just looking to see what is on sale because every time we go it's different. Now this store is a lot bigger than the one that we have locally so I love to go here. They have so much more produce and it's just fun. I think I will always be a foodie and love seeing the cheap things that I can find that I can make meals with. I really don't do a whole lot of shopping and so when I get to the grocery store it's like going to the mall for me. So many different kinds of foods. I cannot wait till my garden is growing. It's starting to. I'm harvesting parsley already. Planting all kinds of things. And now we're getting back and we are going to go ahead and put all of it away. I thought it would be fitting to sit here in my canning pantry and to share with you just a little bit of my thoughts because I have some people that say, why are you buying food when you have so much canned food? Well, this canned food is long-term food storage and I use this every day. So I use some of this for every meal, but it's not full meals. In other words, we like eating a lot of fresh food that goes with our meals. So to live off of just the canned stuff would be a very bland diet because it's really good to have fresh produce, fresh fruit, some dairy. You know, this would not be a full meal for someone that would have all the nutrients. So while this is the foundation, so when you build a house, you have the foundation and then you build a house around it. 
Well, this is my foundation of my food. So the foundation nutrients are here. And then I build around it. So I will build it with some fresh broccoli, some eggs, some cheese, some milk, some sour cream, some cream cheese, and some peppers, some tomatoes. So that's how I fill all around. Right now, it's really hard to fill my house, so to speak, without the garden because it's still in the springtime and not much is growing right now. But once it's summertime, then we will have the fresh broccoli, then we will have the fresh onions, and we'll have the fresh tomatoes, and the fresh peppers, and all of the fresh food, and then you wouldn't, I wouldn't need to go to the grocery store as much. So sometimes people ask questions, and it would appear to be like they're just asking you questions just to be a nuisance, when really, if they're not into food storage, they don't quite understand the whole dynamics of it. So for instance, These pickles are amazing, but it's nice to have some fresh cucumbers and tomatoes are amazing, but it's nice to have some fresh ones. And so you see me go to the grocery store. I'm not going to lie to you. I love shopping at the grocery store, but mainly it's because that I'm building my supply and I'm adding fresh food. Now you will see a lot of people that make full meals with their pantry pulls, in which I do that sometimes too. But I like to incorporate colors into my meals. It's very important to have colors in your meals. In other words, you want to have the green leafy vegetables. You want to have the red in the peppers. You want to have purple and purple cabbage. You want to incorporate color in all of your meals. That's why salads are so amazing because salads, you have a whole bunch of different textures, different colors. The colors in the natural foods is really vibrant for you. And my husband and I are really reducing what we eat as far as snacking. And if we do snack, we will snack on some cheese with pretzels instead of cakes and pies and cookies and ice cream and candy and things like that. So I hope you enjoyed going to the grocery store with me today. And I cannot wait to share with you more all of the ideas that I have. So I'm really just not spending as much time at trying to make the perfect titles. And I'm just sharing with you what I'm doing that day. And I really am having a lot more time to do the things that I enjoy, which will show more into the videos that I do. So thank you guys so much. And I'm so thankful that you do enjoy these kind of videos and enjoy seeing my pantry with me. The pantry is about 75% of what it was. And so in other words, about 35 about 25% of the food is gone from here. And as the months go on, it will be 50. And then I will keep it about at 45%. So I'm ho hoping to reduce my food to about 50% that I have stored. And that way it's not so much. And that way I still have enough of food to share with my family if I needed to, but it's not to the point where it just gets so overwhelming. What I notice is the order that we get, the more less I want to spend my time on transporting heavy jars of food everywhere. I love canning, but really I'm not interested in canning 100 quarts of food in a session. I'm not interested in canning 50 quarts of food in one session. If I can can seven quarts of food in a session, you know, that's great. I'm not really interested in lugging hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of pounds of food all around and the jars and trying to figure out where to put the jars. I'm at a whole different stage in my life than I was when I first started my YouTube channel. So the stage of my life now is just to maintain a healthy balance of having food stored, but getting rid of that hoarding of the food and getting rid of that whole prepping of the food and growing more my own food. And that will give me a lot of satisfaction and plus that will help me with the prepping side of it, instead of going to the grocery store and buying hundreds of pounds of food or even salvaging food. I'm really not too interested in doing a whole lot of salvaging food anymore, simply because I have it and I don't need so much of it. <laughs> I hope you can understand that. You know, we all go through different spells in our life. We all go through different times in our life. And right now, I'm slowly going into a different phase of my life, and that is to find enjoyment in a more even 
pace of living and not so deep into a certain thing and just immerse myself so much that it becomes overwhelming. In my YouTube channel in these last seven years, I have canned thousands of jars of food <laughs> and it made great videos, but I just don't need the hassle of having all this food and not knowing what to do with it in a timely manner. So thank you guys so much for watching. And I'm waiting for my husband to put gasoline into the tiller. It is 45 degrees outside, but I got to get the ground tilled and get it, keep getting it ready for spring because before you know it, springtime will be here. And with that thought, the mailman came today. And I have a wonderful pack full of garden seeds. And I absolutely love garden seeds. And I use garden seeds. Then we got sugar baby, oh, sugar daddy, <laughs> peas. And she gave all kinds of garden seeds that she didn't need. So I am really excited to be able to plant some of these. Then these are from Deborah, And she says, keep speaking the truth. And I sure will. Thank you so much. And I will be excited to get started with the peas. It's a little early yet. It's one of those things where you can gamble and I'm just not a gambling type of person. I don't feel like I want to gamble for something and then have it die. So I'm not quite ready to plant all these and it's amazing. She gave me parsley. She gave me all kinds of neat oregano. It's gonna be so much fun and I'm gonna plant probably most of these. So I'll see you guys at the end of this video. I'll show you what I'm doing and trying to keep myself warm. At least I'm not going to be sweating every time I tell the guard. It seems like it's really hot. Bye, everybody. And we'll see you guys again tomorrow. Bye. Well, it took me twice as long to till the ground because I wanted to till it really deep. And whew, that was a lot of work. So most of my tilling is in the spring and then I do a little bit in the fall. And then I do a little bit just to help keep the weeds down. But let me tell you what, it's a lot of work first thing in the spring when all those leaves are still not decomposed yet. But I got it done. If you like videos like these, where I'm working out in the garden and I'm tilling the ground and working on the have more plan, which means take your area where you live and have more with it. Take a look at my have more plan right here. I have a whole bunch of videos where it's going to inspire you that you don't need a lot of money to work your own ground, to work your own land and to create your own micro mini homestead.